Alright guys, it's Mexi and I'm here making a tech it tutorial because uh, we get requested to do them a little, quite a lot actually so yeah uh, I'll show you how to make a nuclear power plant not power plant, a reactor, a nuclear reactor I'll search for the word then um, I'm going to teach you how to make a stable nuclear reactor one that doesn't require uh, you to maintain it whatsoever so here we go all you need to do, you need to start off by building a base, you're going to need some reinforced glass and the recipe for that will be in the corner of the video um, so you start off with the reinforced glass you just want to build I, I like to do it like a little square a little square rectangular base thing so this is basically just to house the reactor and the reactor chambers so bring me down Right, okay, so now uh, I'm done building the thing. It's all good. I've finished building and I've spawned in some still water. Obviously, you'll need some water buckets and stuff um, when you're building this. This is just some excess cooling so that uh, you, it doesn't overheat and explode because it's by far the largest explosion in Tech It uh, if it explodes. I learned this the hard way as I had built my house on top of a nuclear reactor uh, brilliant idea yeah and it exploded and there was nothing left <laughs> so yeah I'm a bit OCD so I'm just going to try and stuff all the running water is running out. It's only just begun. don't tell me Right, I can't sort it out, but I'm not too bothered, so it's fine. Right, first of all, what you want to do now is uh, with this glass, you want to go inside and pop it down, and then pop down the actual the nuclear reactor itself. And I didn't make this even. This is annoying. There might not be enough space. Oh well, while life goes on. Um, yeah, there'll be enough space. Right, okay, so what you need to do, once you've got that popped down, you can go inside it and you see the reactor. You can leave it this big if you don't have enough reactor chambers. Uh, what you need to do there, you can just see that the reactor's here. Um, it's got um, a 3 by one, two, three, four, six space. So you can fit in your uh, coolant cells and all that jazz. But what you want to do, you want to increase the space so you can get more power output. So by that you use reactor chambers and reactor chambers increase the space. I've just put two on and already it's increased it to 5 by 6 And this one will increase it to 6 by 6 then 7 by 6 And then you put one on top and at one below, if I can get to it. I think that's it. So with this... You can see now it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by six, the largest it can be. Um, and what you want to do now, that's fully all right. That that's got good cooling. You could actually make it one higher um, to make the cooling more efficient. So yeah, uh, the purpose for doing all this, as I say, cooling. I will never stop mentioning this because it is incredibly important. Because if you do not cool it right, it will explode, and it is really, 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 really bad times. Really bad times. I should have spotted in moving water. I'm a fool. So yeah. This is just outside cooling. <laughs> right, now that this is cooled sufficiently, you'll want to power this reactor. And the first thing to do is, uh, what you should do, 
is you should always, always, always put the coolant cells in first. And I advise you, um, just turn off creative, get a alchemy bag because these things are lifesavers. You can fit so much in there to having funny. Yeah, all this is just the uh, alchemy bag, so it's beautiful. It's fine. Right now, um, for some weird reason, you cannot like look at the alchemy bag and the reactor at the same time. So I'll just put all this stuff in my inventory. Uh, what you want to do, first of all, is get your coolant cells and your integrated heat dispersers, which spread the heat to your coolant cells. And there are multiple patents for the most adv advanced cooling and the efficient cooling possible in uh, this whole thing. Right, I'm back. I've looked up a good pattern. It is uh, self-sustaining. You will have to come back and check it. It's perfectly fine. Um, I've already put in the coolant cells and reactors and stuff. Not reactors, coolant cells and heat dispersers. So what you want to do is just pop the uranium cells in and it should be working. All of it is going to every... Yeah, it's perfect. It's working well. Um, that produces a lot of electricity, so that's all good. Um, yeah, that's how you make the power. And next I will be explaining how you wire this bad boy up, because it can be a little bit complicated. Okay, I've managed to get a, a cable in. It was a bit of a retarded way, but I did it. Because uh, when you click on them, they open their inventory. So all I had to do was just get some blocks and put it next to them, put the cable on the blocks, and then delete the blocks. Simple, really. It's just Minecraft shit. So once you've got this, once you're doing this, you want to get the four times insulated cable. You want to run it out. <coughs> Bang, bang, bang. Right, here it is. Now, what you need is uh, a high voltage transformer. Actually, no, first of all, yeah, you need an MFSU. What this does is it stores power. Now, this power is produced from this nuclear reactor at a fast rate. And this can have any power into it whatsoever, so from multiple reactors it's perfectly fine. So what this does is it stores the power and it produces the power for your machines to take. But it produces it at a very extremely high uh, voltage or current. My physics is failing me as I'm off school. So uh, it's at 512 EUT which is basically for advanced machines and right now there's well no it's not for any machines 5 and 12 can't be powered apart from a mass fabricator so forget that uh, yeah 512 UT is for advanced machines like a mass fabricator but you, what you would most likely want to do is step it down and you use that using a transformer like in real life like in power plants they use uh, step down transformers with a larger number of coils to a smaller number of coils to step down the voltage so it can be used normally. So once you've got this MFSU you want a high voltage transformer so you plonk it down here and then plonk a glass fibre cable because it carries current extremely well into the high voltage transformer and what this high voltage, yeah, what this high voltage uh, transformer actually does is it converts power from <coughs> 512 EUT to, I believe, 128, but I am not sure. And I try to think of a way to try and uh, look, but I th it does. I think it's 128 EUT. This is still too high. So uh, you, what you do, you further step it down by putting on a medium voltage transformer.